परसेंट ऑफ अवर पॉपुलेशन हेंस वी वॉन्ट टू मेक थिंग्स इन इंडिया फॉर द पर्पज वी हैव लॉन्च ए कॉम्पेन कॉल मेक इन इंडिया इट इज ऑल्सो एफर्ट ऑफ माई गवर्नमेंट टू एनकरेज इनोवेशन आर एंड डी एंड एंटरप्रिनरशिप इन कंट्री इन दिस इयर्स बजेट वी हैव सेट अप सम इनोवेटिव इंस्टीट्यूशनल मैकेनिज्म फॉर दैट पर्पज वी हैव टू लर्न फ्रॉम यू अबाउट द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ लेबर इंटेंसिव इंडस्ट्रीज क्रिएटिंग कंडीशंस फॉर सस्टेनेबल फॉरेन डायरेक्ट इन्वेस्टमेंट स्किल डेवलपमेंट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर क्रिएशन एंड एक्सपोर्ट लेड डेवलपमेंट मॉडल ऑल दिस इज अ हिस्टोरिक अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर द चाइनीज कंपनीज यू वुड ऑलरेडी बी नोइंग द डायरेक्शन ऑफ माई गवर्नमेंट एंड द स्टेप्स वी आर टेकिंग वी हैव कमिटेड अवर सेल्स फॉर क्रिएटिंग एंड इंप्रूविंग द बिजनेस एनवायरमेंट आई कैन एश्योर यू दैट वंस यू डिसाइड टू बी इन इंडिया वी आर कॉन्फिडेंट टू मेक यू मोर एंड मोर कंफर्टेबल मैनी चाइनीज कंपनी हैव द पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ इन्वेस्टिंग इन इंडिया टू टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ इंडिया पोटेंशियल द पोटेंशियल लाइज इन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेसिंग एज वेल एज इन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर आई एम हियर टू एश्योर यू दैट इंडिया इकोनॉमिक एनवायरमेंट हैज चेंज अवर रेगुलेटरी रिजिम इज मच मोर ट्रांसपेरेंट रिस्पॉन्सिव एंड स्टेबल वी आर टेकिंग अ लॉन्ग टर्म एंड फ्यूचरिस्टिक व्यूज ऑन दिस इश्यूज lot of efforts have been made and are still under way to improve the ease of doing business we do believe that foreign direct investment is important and it will not come in the country without globally competitive business environment therefore we have realized a number of issues which were bothering the investors in particularly we are making the taxation system transparent stable and predictable we have removed lot of regressive taxation regimes in our very first budget we said we will not resort to retrospective taxation we are reducing the complicated procedures making them available well, available at the one platform preferably online simplifying the forms and formats has been taken up on war footing definite mechanism for hand holding have been set up in the form of hub and spoke model invest india is the nodal agency for this purpose in these years budget we allowed allowed tax pass through for aifs rationalization of capital gains for reits modification in pe norms and deferring the implementation of gar for 2 years we have fast track approvals in industry and infrastructure this includes environmental clearances extending the industrial licenses de licensing of defense items and simplification of cross border trade within a very short time we introduce gst bill in parliament similarly for infrastructure development we have taken some far reaching steps first of all we have made an all time high allocation for roads and railway sectors in addition 
we are setting up India Infrastructure Investment Fund. We have also allowed tax-free bonds in the infrastructure sector, including roads and railways. We know that a lot more has to be done. But we are committed to take this process forward. We are constantly working to improve the business environment further. However, our initial me measures have helped in building up and enhance investor confidence. The sentiments for private investment and inflow of foreign investment are positive. Foreign direct investment inflow have gone up by 39% during April 2014 and February 2015 against the same period in previous year. Our growth rate is above 7%. Most of the international financial institutions, including the World Bank, IMF, OECD, and others are predicting even faster growth and even better in the coming years. Moody's have recently upgraded the rating of India as positive on account of our concrete steps in various economic fields. Friends, Indo-Chinese partnership should and will flourish. I expect very good outcome from this coming together. We have complemented each other in the past. We can complement in the present and future too. As two major economies in Asia, the harmonious partnership between India and China is essential for economic development and political stability of the continent. You are the factory of the world. Whereas we are the back office of the world. You give trust on production of hardware while India focus on software and services. Similarly, Indian component manufacturers have been mastered in high quality precision and the Chinese players have mastered the art of mass production. The component design expertise of Indian engineers and low-cost mass production by China can cater to the global markets in a better way. This industrial partnership of China and India can bring about greater, greater invest, investment, employment and satisfaction of our people. Friends, let us work together in mutual interest and for progress and prosperity of our great countries. I would conclude by saying that now India is ready for business. You must be sensing the winds of change in India. I only advise you to come and feel the same. I assure you of my personal attention for your success. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much, Prime Minister. Ladies and gentlemen, 刚才，目的总理阁下发表了重要演讲，为我们描绘了中印两国构建更紧密的发展伙伴关系的美好面貌。让我们深刻感受到中国和印度之间的关系的紧密度。中国和印度之间的关系的紧密度。中国和印度之间的关系的紧密度。中国和印度之间的关系的紧密度。中国和印度之间的关系的紧密度。中国和印度之间的关系的紧密度。中国和印度之间的关系的紧密度。中国和印度之间的关系的紧密度。中国和印度之间的关系的紧密度。中国和印度之间的关系的紧密度。中国和印度之间的关系的紧密度。中国和印度之间的关系的紧密度。中国和印度之间的关系的紧密度。中国和印度之间的关系的紧密度。中国和印度之间的关系的紧密度。中国和印度之间的关系的紧密度。中国和印度之间的关系的紧密度。中国和印度之间的关系的紧密度。中国和印度之间的关系的紧密度。中国和印度之间的关系的紧密度。中国和印度之间的关系的紧密度。中国和印度之间的关系的紧密度。中国和印度之间的关
Mrs. Namya C. Tanka to serve as the chairwoman for the agreements exchange ceremony. Welcome. Honorable Prime Minister, His Excellency Mr. Kao Ho Chang, Minister of Commerce of the People's Republic of China, His Excellency Mr. Yin Wei Min, Minister of Human Resources and Social Security of the People's Republic of China, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to today's ceremony where 21 business agreements will be exchanged worth over 22 billion US dollars. The agreements cover bilateral commercial engagement in sectors like renewable energy, industrial parks, power, steel, logistics, finance, and media and entertainment. First, we have an MOU between Wellspun Group of India and Trina Solar of China to jointly set up 500 megawatts of photovoltaic cell and 500 megawatts of photovoltaic solar module production in India. Next. Thank you. Next, we have a tripartite MOU between Axis Energy Ventures Private Limited, Mingyan Wind Power, and Global Wind Power Limited to set up a wind power equipment factory in Andhra Pradesh. Thank you. Next, we have a framework agreement between Adani Power Limited and Golden Concord Holdings Limited to establish an integrated PV industrial park in the Mundra SEZ and to explore investments in gas power generation and natural gas industry. We next have an MOU between SL Group of India and JA Solar of China to set up a solar cell and module manufacturing facility. JA Solar of China to set up a solar manufacturing facility. We next have an MOU. We next have an MOU between Sun, Sun Group of India and Canadian Solar Power China Limited for setting up a target of 5,000 megawatts of solar power in the next five years and manufacturing of solar modules. Thank you. We next have an MOU between Wipro Limited and Talian ETA China Holdings Limited for setting up an offshore delivery center in Talian. We next have an MOU between Bharti Airtel Limited and China Development Bank for financing of telecom equipment. We next have an MOU between GMR Limited and Quecho International Investment Corporation for an industrial park in Kakinada SEZ catering to high-end Chinese equipment manufacturers. We next have an MOU between the Industrial Extension Bureau of the Government of Gujarat and the China Small and Medium Enterprises Investment Limited for setting up industrial parks in Gujarat on pharmaceuticals and textiles. We next have an MOU between Autopal MPG Group and 
Shinwe Import and Export Company Limited for manufacture of high-tech capital goods to be utilized in the auto components industry. We next We next have an MOU between Adani Power Limited and China Development Bank for financing of APL Mundra Power Plant, Phase 1, 2, and 3. We next have an MOU between Infrastructure Leasing and Financial Services Limited and ICBC Bank of China in financing. We next have an MOU between Bharati Airtel Limited and ICBC Bank for project financing. We next have an MOU between Infrastructure Leasing and Financial Services Energy Company and the China Huanong Group for the Nana Leja 4000 megawatts thermal power project. We next have an MOU between Jindal Steel and Power Limited of India and ICBC Bank of China for financing of projects. We next have an MOU between Wellspun Group of India and China National Technical Import and Export Corporation for setting up an integrated steel project in India. We next have an MOU between Bhushan Power and Steel Limited of India and China National Technical Import and Export Corporation for a hot rolled steel coil project. We next have an MOU between Adani Port and SEZ Limited of India and Guangzhou Port Authority of China to establish a sister port relationship between Mundra Port and Guangzhou Port. We next have an MOU.